टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग वाइट किडनी बीन्स कारी Hi guys, welcome to my new vlog. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing by the grace of Almighty God. So guys, today uh, I will be making a, a very good and uh, a very nice recipe. I am going to make lumpia today. We basically get tired eating chicken, beef, mutton all the time. So we should also intake pulses in our diet. So today the recipe that I will be sharing with you guys is lumpia, and uh, there are a lot of benefits. Benefits of eating lumpia. So now, uh, someday I'm going to sit and I'm going to tell you the benefits and uh, you know why lumpia is important. Uh, you know, for us, lumpia is basically why we get like you know uh, two kind of kidneys: one in red and one in white. So basically, today I will be making white kidneys. And it's a very easy recipe, very healthy recipe, and you try to give this, uh, you know, uh, 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 lobia, the uh, kidney beans to your child to eat because it's just very healthy for them, especially when they are growing up. For growing kids, it is very very important, and for adults, you know, for us also, it is very very good. So today uh, uh, is our uh, lobia day. Uh, we will make white kidney beans for you. Right. So stay tuned. Honda, so guys, today I will be making lobia curry, and for this we need to take lobia. Lobia is going to be our first ingredients. So what we have to do is this: that we have to take lobia, and we are going to, uh, you know, clean the lobia first. And after the clean, after cleaning lobia, then you have to boil the lobia first. So let's start. Okay guys as you can see that my lobia is getting boil so we need to boil the lobia first Okay guys as you can see that my um lobia has been boiled and uh, you can also add salt in it I've added just a pinch of salt in it uh, from the very start when I kept the lobia you know for soaking at least for 15 20 minutes so i've put little bit of you know uh, uh, salt in the lobia before boiling it so then when i took out dish and i've added the same water and lobia in the dish where the salt was added already in the lobia so now as you can see that my lobia has been boiled so now i am going to remove this and uh, then we'll start making the curry Okay guys as you can see that i have um, removed it in a bowl so now we are going to start with our second procedure okay guys so these are the three ingredients that will be going in the curry uh the onions green chilies and tomato so now we're going to cut one by one so first we're going to cut uh, the onions guys so now i'll be cutting the onions first okay guys as you can see that i have cut the onions okay so now i am going to turn on the flame so i'm going to put the dish so i'm going to put the same dish that i'm going to use the same dish uh, in which i boiled my lobia so now i'm going to put oil first you can see the quantity how much i've put the oil so guys i have put the onions in it so now we're going to stir it so we're going to stir the onion until onion they turn golden brown Okay guys as you can see that my onions it, they have not turned golden brown they need still some time uh now what we can do is this that we can cut the tomatoes uh and the green chilies so now we going to cut the tomatoes and green chilies until our onions they turn golden brown so by the time we can cut and keep it ready Okay guys so I've cut the tomatoes and green chilies so now let's see if our onions have turned golden brown no it hasn't so we need to wait for 5 more minutes 
ओके गाइस माय अनियंस दे हैव टर्न्ड गोल्डन ब्राउन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू पुट माय टमेटोज इन इट फर्स्ट एंड देन आफ्टर अ वाइल आई एम गोइंग टू पुट ग्रीन चिलीज ओके गाइस सो एज यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव पुट द टमेटोज इन इट सो नीड टू स्टेयर इट Okay. After stirring it, then you need to add green chilies in it. Okay. So as you can see, now we'll keep it at least for 2 3 minutes after that we're going to put all the spices in it okay guys so my spice box is out so now i'm going to put all the spices in it one by one let's see that uh how far has my um onions and tomatoes have they turned tender yes it has a bit you need to keep it at least for two more minutes so now we'll put all the spices in it one by one okay guys so our first uh, spice which will go is salt as you can see the quantity of the salt that i have used in it because in start i have also added a little bit salt so i had put little salt right now because they already have salt in the lobia okay so then i'm going to use um red chili powder i use less spice in my food actually so you can uh, you know increase the spice according to your taste okay then i uh, then we will be adding a uh, turmeric powder as you can see okay then i'm going to add dhania powder in it zeera powder and then i'm going to add garam masala in it okay so i put all the spices so now i'm going to close my spice box okay so i have put all the spices in it so now i'm going to stir it properly uh guys uh you know when i'm making lobia you must be wondering that i haven't put um, ginger garlic paste usually what happen is is that i don't add ginger garlic paste when i'm making lobia in very rare cases i put uh, ginger garlic paste but uh, today i'm not putting ginger garlic paste i'm making without ginger garlic paste and trust me on this it will taste very very nice okay so i have experience and i have um you know uh, uh, uh not i have not used uh, ginger garlic paste and the taste comes out very very good you will like it okay so now what we have to do is is that we have to keep it at least for 2 minutes so all the spices can get mixed with onions tomatoes and green chilies okay guys as you can see that uh, my onions and tomatoes uh, they have turned golden brown So now it's time to add a little bit water in it. So I am not going to use the normal water. Uh, what I will do is this: I am going to use this uh, lobia water in it. Little bit you need to put it first, and then later on, and you can put the whole lobia in it. So I just put a little bit of it. Okay. So you have to stir it. Okay, and you need to. you know keep this at least for 5 more minutes that's it before putting the lobia in it okay guys so now i it's time to put lobia in it so now i'm going to put lobia so this is my lobia that i'm going to add in it okay so adding lobia after adding lobia you need to keep it uh in a low flame at least for um 20 minutes maximum because lobia i have boiled and it had become tender but still to to be on the safe side because lobia they usually be hard 
so if you keep it for 50 to 20 minutes it will turn more tender and it will taste more good so what i uh, did is this that um, i have turned the flame a bit low in it and we'll keep it at least for 15 to 20 minutes so see you after 15 to 20 minutes okay guys as you can see that my lobia has been boiled i mean it has been cooked and it's looking really very very nice so now it's time to dish it out so we're going to dish it out okay guys as you can see that i have dished out my lobia and it's looking like this uh, guys i hope that you will like this video and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and also guys try making this recipe at home it's very very good very healthy and i'm sure that your family they're going to love this recipe so take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.